static wireframes can go only so far in communicating your vision for an application. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to add dynamic page actions to your simulations. Our new profile form will enable users to link their profile to their social networking accounts, but we only want the connect buttons to appear for the selected accounts. Also, for users who would like to receive email updates, we'll let them choose the frequency and provide clear visual cues to confirm their choices. First, we need to set the default visibility of the content we'll reveal dynamically by control clicking to select the connect buttons and the frequency section, and then selecting the hidden checkbox in the properties panel. Now let's add the page actions that we'll use to reveal this content. When we drag an action widget to the canvas, the set page action dialog opens. For this action, we'll stick with the default type on the left, as well as the desired behavior on the top. We'll apply the action to the first connect button and click done to create the action. For easy identification, we'll add a label to the toggle widgets action by typing it into the properties panel. Before we link the page action to its source widget, let's create two copies, one for each of the remaining connect buttons. Control C once and then Control V twice to paste our two copies. We'll double click each copy in turn to edit the action so it reveals the correct widget. Then we'll fix the label for each action. With our canvas widgets created, now we can link the source widgets with the actions. Now let's repeat this process once more for the frequency section. Before moving on, let's test our first set of interactions. Clicking each checkbox reveals the hidden content just as we planned. And because we chose the toggle widgets option, deselecting each checkbox hides the associated content. Another requirement we have for our social network connectors is that each button should receive focus when it's revealed. We'll use jump to widget actions for this. After we choose the correct action type, we'll again need to associate the action with the correct widget. Then we can use the same copy and paste method we used before to duplicate the action. Connecting the toggle widgets actions to the jump to widget actions, change them together so they are triggered by a single user interaction. In the frequency section, we'll provide two indicators to confirm the user's choice. First, let's add a text message using an edit user inputs action. After making our selection on the left, we'll locate our text input on the right, double click the value field, and type our message. Now we need a different text message for the monthly option. Again, we'll duplicate the first action and edit the copy to create the new action. Now we'll associate the actions with the corresponding radio buttons. Finally, let's change some formatting in the text input widget. For the visual reference, we'll start out by adding a section widget. We'll give it a width of 200 pixels and apply a contrasting background color. Now let's add two edit properties actions to change the size of the bar dynamically. The first will resize the section to its original width. The second will resize the section to a width of 50 pixels. We'll keep the default setting to animate the change in size. Finally, we can connect each action to the corresponding edit user inputs action. Let's test our new interactions. With the frequency section revealed, choosing the monthly option reveals the text message and shrinks the horizontal bar, and choosing the weekly option also has the desired effect. The only problem is that the bar appears before a frequency has been selected. Although we could reveal the bar with the show hide widgets action, in this case it makes more sense to have the weekly option selected by default. We can do this on the radio buttons properties panel. We'll also want to add the default message to the text input widget. Let's test again. That's what we're after. We've only scratched the surface here of all the dynamic page actions you can add to your simulations, but hopefully this video helped you understand the basic mechanics. Since there is practically no limit to the interactions you can visualize in iRise, we also hope we sparked your creativity. Thanks for watching.